What's up, future respiratory therapists? Hey, in this video, we're going to look at a ventilator and we're going to decipher if we are in volume control versus pressure control just looking at graphics. How do we look at graphics and tell? Is it volume or is it pressure control? This video is going to explain that. Let's dive in. All right, so we're going to get started here talking about volume control. There's some elements here that I want to point out to you that I want to make sure you understand. Uh, first things first, if you remember, when we are in volume control, we know that we have a tidal volume set. We have a flow set. The set these settings establish an eye time. Okay, now we could change this eye time here. We could make it longer. We can't make it shorter, but we can make it longer. That would add an inspiratory pause. We'll talk about that in another video. But for right now, I just want you to recognize that we are set on 480 mLs. Our volume waveform shows that. Volume is coming up just under the 500 mark and then falls back to baseline. Now when we look at our flow waveform, we see that we have a square pattern. This is on the inspiratory phase. We have a square flow pattern happening during all inspiratory phases. This is also known as a constant flow pattern. So you can, you may hear it called square waveform or constant flow waveform. They mean the same thing. What it means is, is that flow is increasing to the preset level of 40 liters per minute and then it's going to stay there. It's going to remain constant at 40 liters per minute until all of the tidal volume is delivered however long that takes. But we can obviously put 40 liters per minute over time or multiply it times time and it'll tell us and we'll know exactly how long it's going to take to deliver this tidal volume. Now, when you look at the pressure waveform, you notice something interesting. This pressure waveform slowly rises as the breath is being delivered. And then we have a peak inspiratory pressure and then we return back to baseline. So as volume goes, pressure grows. Okay, so as the volume goes in, the pressure rises because we're controlling volume. We're not controlling pressure. And then it returns back to baseline. Baseline is based off of our peak. Okay, so I want you to recognize that this is our peak inspiratory pressure right here. When the full 480 mLs have been delivered, that's when we get that point right there, right before we fall back to baseline. Now, let's look at pressure control. Just going to dial in um, an eye time of 1.2 seconds just for, just for demonstration sakes. Uh, we know that this is going to vary based off of different patient needs. I'm going to put an inspiratory pressure of 22 centimeters of water pressure, and I'm going to accept this. Okay. Now, what you notice now is that there are some changes happening. Okay. And so the first change that you might notice is that our pressure waveform is no longer growing as the volume goes in. Instead, it is now square in how it presents. This is a square pressure waveform. We also notice when we look at our flow waveform that we have now a decelerating pattern rather than a square pattern. And that's because decelerating flow pattern goes with pressure control. All pressure control modes are associated with a decelerating flow pattern. Now that's different from volume control. With volume control, we saw where we had a square pattern, and that is 100% one of the, the flow patterns that you will see with volume. But you could also have decelerating flow pattern with volume control. And we didn't see that, but you can have it. But write this down. In pressure control, you will always have a square pressure waveform. You will also have always a decelerating flow pattern. We see that our volume comes up and our volume is now going to be based off of the eye time and the pressure that we are set. Notice the difference. Look what happens here with the test lung. Pressure goes up, holds, and then exhales. This is very different than volume, okay? Let's look at the volume. Let's just look at the test lung and compare volume to 
Let's just compare volume to pressure control. This is pressure control. This is volume control. So you can see here where we're back to a slow rising pressure waveform, back to a square flow pattern. Look at our test line. Volume's going in, volume's coming out. We go back to pressure control. Now we increase the pressure and hold, and then exhale. Increase the pressure, hold, exhale. This is the difference between volume control and pressure control. Now, I want to come back down here. I just want to show you looking at volume control side by side with pressure control. Here's what we're looking at. These two, these two breaths right here were volume control. As volume goes, square flow pattern with a accelerating, a slow rising pressure waveform. When we look at it on the pressure control side, square waveform, very different than in volume control. Square waveform, decelerating flow pattern compared to a square. We see that our volume now is greater than in volume control because when we set a higher pressure, we're gonna get more volume, okay? So that's how you can look at it and compare when you're looking at waveforms, the difference between volume control versus pressure control, just looking at the waveforms. All right, so there you have it. That's volume control versus pressure control when you're utilizing waveforms to determine which mode you are in. Remember, volume control is always going to have either a constant flow pattern or it may have a decelerating flow pattern. It depends on what vent you're using and you can maybe choose that in some vent modes, okay, in some ventilators. But the key is going to be when you look at the pressure waveform, you're going to always see this slow rising pattern. Remember, as volume goes, pressure grows. Now, when you're talking about pressure control, always going to have a square, a square pressure waveform, and you're always going to have a decelerating flow pattern. Always, always, always. That's the difference in volume control versus pressure control. I want to show you guys something really cool here. I got this respiratory coach academy set up it's on teachable i'll link to this in the video description below but what i really want to point out to you is this element right here this is a free course that has some items in it that are absolutely free to you this is where you can find all the free cheat sheets that i have created already and will continue to create as well as maybe occasionally throwing a free video in there just something extra to help and support you along your way this is free go and roll in it get in the course utilize all those things tell me what you want to see in that course i'll put it all in there and help you be successful on your journey out from this page you may also see the respiratory coach tmc boot camp as well as my basic abg interpretation course that i've created to aid you along the way in in, in understanding arterial blood gases now here's where you can reach me instagram at respiratory coach tiktok at respiratory coach twitter at coach rt you can always email me, respiratorycoach at gmail.com. And then do me a favor, text me, 817-968-7035. I would love for you to join the texting platform I have set up to where I occasionally send out inspirational, motivational, educational content just to further connect with this great community, being the respiratory therapy community. Hey, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, turn on all bell notifications, like this video, share this video, comment on this video. Share it with everybody you know so we can get the word out and just make everyone's life just a little easier. I'd appreciate that. And at the end of the day, remember this, average is easy. Don't be it.